Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day and thank you so much once again for all of the support and especially your patience throughout the series and throughout this channel lately. I really do appreciate it my friends. Now that is going to be the first thing I address in today's video is the inconsistencies, the not so frequent videos and to be quite frank with you guys, I'm just going to come straight out and say it. At this point... I, I, ju I don't think I'm going to try and stick to any kind of schedule with this channel anymore because, quite frankly, I just can't do it. Like, I tried to run two channels full-time, the Minecraft channel and this channel, and I just find it way too freaking difficult to do so at this point this channel will be more a case of if i feel like playing the game then i'll play it and i'll make videos i'm gonna focus more on enjoying the content that i make rather than feeling obligated to make content for you guys which i know some of you guys probably won't like but uh yeah it's just it's just the way it is my friends i mean to be honest the last few weeks i really haven't been feeling youtube in general i don't even know what's really uh, you know going on uh in terms of what I've not really been feeling like it. Sometimes the, I don't know, the inspiration comes in waves and I don't know, maybe maybe lately I've just been at a bit of a low point. So yeah, anyways, I just want to once again emphasize, you know, the thank yous I, guys, like, honestly, for those of you guys who have been sticking around without making the snarky comments, I've seen a lot of those lately, and, well, to be honest, it's probably for good reason. Uh, yeah, for those of you guys who haven't been making snarky comments and, you know, have just been waiting patiently for content, I truly appreciate that, my friends. So, thank you so much. You guys are the absolute MVPs, and, uh, you, know, you know, I have a great deal of love for you guys. So, yeah. Anyways, today's episode, we're going to hopefully take down Queen Bee. I have done a fair amount of stuff since the last episode, mostly some terrain smoothing you may notice that this area of the world is now completely smooth we've got like a nice smooth hill going on here we've got some trees growing uh i've gone ahead and put down a whole bunch of lighting which is fantastic. There's even like a tiny little micro pond here. Uh, this is more for decoration. I don't really intend on, uh, you know, making it into any kind of fishing pond because, you know, we've already got a jungle fishing lake and we've already got a corruption fishing lake. So I don't think we need to worry about it too much. The other thing th that I've done since the last episode, ladies and gents, is I've gone ahead and picked up a bunch of resources which are required to make ourselves the queen bee summoning item. So as opposed to going ahead and uh, breaking ourselves uh, the queen bee larvae uh, thing. Uh, yeah, we could just like summon in queen bee whenever and wherever we want. So I'll tell you what, let's go and make ourselves 10 of these bad boys. And yeah, hopefully we should be able to just get straight into this thing. The other thing that I've managed to obtain since the last episode is a bazaar. This is going to be a low slung MVP for this entire fight because immunity to poison it's going to be amazing because when you're poisoned in a boss battle, it delays your health regeneration, right? So by having this and therefore being immunity to poison or immune to poison, we should be able to regenerate our health, you know, pretty much as normal. So, yeah, I'll tell you what, I mean, we're just going to go and get on with it. You can see that we got ourselves a bunch of regenerative buffs going on. So let's buff up. Let's do this thing. Uh, oh, Jesus. Wait, is she enraged? Um, that's interesting. I think she's enraged. She was moving incredibly quickly there. Do you guys see that? Yeah, she's enraged. Okay, so that's an... Jesus Christ. Oh! Ah! That is very interesting to know. I, I legitimately didn't know that Queen Bee had an enraged state. Get out of my way, you stupid... Okay, this is not going well. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm so freaking dead. I can't. I can't get a hit on. Okay. God damn. Ugh. Jesus Christ. This is so insane. I honestly didn't know she had an enraged state. Okay. There we go. Oh God. She is so insane. I, I can't. I can't even right now. I can't even. This is so disgustingly stupid. I'm so dead. Like, there's no possible way I'm going to be able to survive this. Okay. Oh, got all these freaking bees on the go. You know, despite being in the enraged state, I feel like I'm actually doing slightly better than I first thought I would. Okay. So she's coming up to about half health at this point. Okay. And there's some health, actually. Huh. <laughs> 
I'm so nervous for when she's going to start dashing again. Because as... Dude... Not... Not cool. These bees kindly need to sod off. All right, come on, baby. I really hate these bees. Okay, come on, baby. Oh, man. I, I tell you what, I, I, I'm 100% I'm sure that I'm not going to be able to do this, but... <laughs> if we do, and you guys haven't dropped a like rating already, then... Yeah, you guys are traitors, basically. She is so dumb. It's actually dumb how fast she is. <laughs> 2,000 health. Okay. Okay. Look at these bees. Bees, 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 bees. Stop, 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 and stop. Please. I am... Ah. She's so fast. She's so fast. It's impossible! It's freaking impossible! What the crap, dude? That is the first ever time I've taken, well, taken on an enraged queen bee. I didn't even know there was such a thing as an enraged queen bee. Jesus freaking Christ. Yeah! Alright, so endurance potions. There are warmth potions we can make, but I don't think we're going to need them, really. Uh, magic power potion. Wait, to be honest, I feel like we've got a pretty good selection of buffs here. Increased damage, increased even further damage. That's pretty nice. In fact, we need to make two of them, don't we? So that's four minutes. That's also four minutes. So we want to total up to eight minutes, basically. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, I think we're pretty good to go, my friend. So let's get down to the Queen Beehive. And let's see if we can do this thing. Might it be a better idea to have more defense? Like, I don't know. I really need some day bloom, man. Like, like I critically need some day bloom. Oh, uh, well, howdy doodly do. What you got for me, buddy? Pad Thai? I mean, to be honest, we're probably going to need some food to go down there. Uh, DPS meter already got it. Green team platforms and blocks. Eh, I don't really mind them too much. I'm just going to go and leave them be for now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we're looking for day bloom, man. If I could get some iron skin potions, I think we might have a much better chance of actually doing this thing, right? Hmm. Now, here's a choice that is a bit difficult. Do we want to replace the horseshoe balloon here with a band of regeneration for more health regeneration? Or do we want to go for a shark tooth necklace, which will basically allow us to do five more damage, uh, you know, despite her uh, defense? Ugh. Do we want to go for damage or regeneration? That's the ultimate question. I tell you what, let's go for regeneration first, because I firmly believe that we're not going to need the horseshoe balloon, because, you know, we've got this freaking thing here, and it's actually kind of nasty, isn't it? You know, we have quadruple jump, which is kind of bonkers enough as it is, you know? Huh, and what do you know? Another bazaar. And what's that? Melee speed? And that's movement speed. All right, well, I mean, to be honest, I don't think there's much in it. Okay, we need to kill this guy to get past. There we go. All right, so... Oh, there's another freaking worm. Ugh. It's just mob after mob after freaking mob, huh? All right, well, let's get down here. We're going to try this thing. If it goes well, it goes well. At least this time we do have ourselves honey. So that's... Wow, it lasts for 30 seconds as well. That's kind of bonkers, actually. All right, well, let's just freaking do this, I guess. Whoop. Oh, ah, crumbs. All right, let's do that again. There we go. Hey! All right. Oh! Oh, yeah. Okay, she's definitely not in her enraged stage now. Oh, good. I am very glad to know that. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, man. Look at that health regen, man. That's kind of bonkers, isn't it? I love it. All right, this is so much easier and so much calmer. Yeah, th this, is, this is the way to go, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, guys, like, legitimately, I did not know she had an enraged state in master mode. So, yeah. I mean, I've learned something today, my friends. Oh, yes, I have. I hate that the little tiny bees still do upwards of 10 damage to you sometimes. But I feel like that's a little bit bonkers. But, oh, well, look at that. I I'm basically not even taking a freaking scratch right about now. I'll go ahead and dip myself in the honey real quick. There we go. Oh, goodness me. There she is. All right, so one tip a lot of you guys were giving me 
was to go ahead and dash into the Queen Bee as she does her dashing move, right? I mean, it makes sense. If you can master that, then you will basically not really take damage. And that's just nice. So, for example, like this. Hang on. Okay. Uh. If I could not get knocked around by the little bees, then that probably would have been a successful test for that theory. But uh, clearly, Queen Bee has other ideas, huh? All right, come on. Do your dashing thing. Do it. There we go. Oh, that's... Oh. That's a great idea. Holy crap. Wow. You guys are freaking smart, dude. You guys have got your freaking 9001 IQ plays up in this business, and I'm sat here being a freaking scrub. My goodness. All right. Yeah. There we go. And again. And again. All right. And again. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you did, definitely did do some damage that time. Yeah. Okay. I I'll be honest with you guys. I think this is freaking sealed and done. I think we're done with this, man. This is so easy. Okay. We have taken a little bit of damage, though, so still got to be careful. Can't get too ahead of ourselves, you know what I'm saying? St still got to take out the little bees. Okay. That's not cool. Uh, I would very much like to not be cornered. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You you do you, baby. You do you. Come on. Come on. Anytime now, broski. Oh. I can't dash in time. Oh, there we go. Goodness me. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there we go. We've got the Queen Bee Relic and... Ooh. Begun. Very nice. Uh, we have the Honeycomb as well. Oh, wait. These two can be combined together, can't they? Ooh. So it becomes an offensive and defensive accessory at the same time. Ooh. Okay. I, I honestly feel like future Queen Bee fights are going to be a lot easier as a result of having all this stuff. So, uh, yeah, the bee gun, that's definitely a nice thing to have. So I'm kind of tempted to become Lord of the Bees or sort of demi-Lord of the Bees because I don't think we've got enough bee wax to make ourselves a full set of bee armor. But yeah, look at all this stuff, man. This is great. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, there it is. Stinger necklace. Wow. Okay, armor penetration by five releases bees when damaged. Very, very nice. Okay, so as a grand total, we need... Wow, we only need 30? We only need 30 bee wax to make a full set of bee armor. What? That's awesome. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm very, very happy with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and probably use the bee gun. We're going to save the bee nades because I just feel like that's a better idea. I think I'm going to put that in place of the band of regen. And, oh, man, increases strength of friendly bees. I don't know, man. I feel like still having... I feel like this stuff is alright. I don't think the hive pack is going to do too much for us. Huh. That's interesting. Restoration potion restores 90 life, which I guess technically is less than a normal 100 potion. But it says it has a reduced potion cooldown. That honestly doesn't sound like a bad idea. Maybe we go ahead and opt for those instead of regular healing potions, right? I'm kind of interested to see what, what the potion cooldown is. Okay, so it's only 45 seconds. That's not too bad. That's the same amount of reduction in time, I think, that you get with the Charm of Myths, right? So, yeah. Man, I think this could work. I honestly think this could work. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're going to do this thing, my friends. We're going to freaking do this thing. I'm excited. Let's get back over to the jungle. We're going to try and take on Enraged Queen Bee again, okay? We're going to try it. Oh, I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. Right, first of all, of course, we do need to put the uh, little buff stations down. So let's get that done. And then we'll be ready, I guess. So I'm wondering at this point, this is technically not a jungle biome here. Did I go ahead and summon Queen Bee here before? Or did I do it in the jungle biome? I don't, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. My memory, my short-term memory is freaking terrible, guys. You're just going to have to bear with me. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try summoning her in the jungle biome at the surface. And then, you know, if she still is enraged... Then, yeah, I guess our theory is confirmed that uh, Master Mode, she just gets enraged no matter what biome she's at, at the surface, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, buffing up, 
Let's do, 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 do this thing. Okay. Oh, no. I think she's still enraged. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's... She, oh, yeah, she's... <laughs> she's definitely still enraged. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, go on, baby. You can do this. Go on, baby. I think... You know, now that we know she's enraged, we might have a slightly better time of this. And because we only have a 45 second cooldown between health potions, that might help quite nicely. Okay, so she's already doing her dashy dashy thing. Come on, baby. Oh, look at the damage. That's kind of nice, man. Okay, so no matter what, you know, we're going to wind up being able to use magic weapons, which is very, very nice, of course. I just realized the amount of uh, health she's got. It's not much, is it? Come on, baby. I tell you what, guys. If we manage to take on Enraged Queen Bee successfully this time, you guys have got to drop a like, Eddie, okay? First time, I didn't even know that she'd become Enraged. But this time, I know she is. So, yeah. It's just one of those things, huh? Okay. I, I, I mean, to be honest, I, I feel like this is a signed deal. But you never know. She could pull something out of her butt like this. Oh, Okay, she's going a bit nuts right now. Ooh, <laughs> she's got kind of a machine stinger going on here. Oh, 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 she's so nuts. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, there we go. A little bit more health, huh? There we go. Everything's great. Yeah. All the damage. All the damage now belongs to me. Come on, baby. She's nearly done. She's so nearly done. Oh my god. She's shooting so quick. Oh my god. Come on. No! You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh, snappers. Alright. Two platinum, 17 gold, and I'm pretty sure there's a couple more gold coin piles uh, back at the jungle base. So, yeah. I'm excited. I, I really am determined to try this thing out and get it done. Okay, I can't help myself. I just want to get it done. I firmly believe that I could take down and rage Queen Bee today. Please, based goblin lords, let me have something good. Okay, so, uh, ooh, that's nice. Don't get me wrong, that is nice. But, I mean, to be, oh, that's good, that's good. Okay, I like that. That's great. Okay, what have we got here? Something better. Come on, I know you can do this. Demonic is great. Nimble, demonic again. Ugh. I mean, mythical is the way to go, isn't it? Mystic is great. It is. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I really want mythical, dude. Ah, screw it. All right, demonic it is. We've got 12 magic damage, and then the crit chance is very much appreciated as well. Uh, what about these? Could I potentially get something a little bit better here? Okay, I mean, to be honest, I'll take any defense I could get. Uh, oh, very nice. Okay, well, let's try this again. See if we can get something a little bit... Yeah! All right. I think... Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good here. Can I potentially... Oh, maybe not. That's a little bit on the expensive side, huh? <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we are going to try this again, okay? We have slightly better gear, and I mean... I mean, to be honest, all that's left to do is to just do this thing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What do you guys think? Could we do it this time? Could we do it this time? That's the real question. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really seem to be taking that much damage this time. The the defense increases are definitely... Well, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, she gets a little bit insane at this point. When she gets to, like, less than 500 health. Oh, my God. This is freaking insane. I don't actually... It's, it's literally impossible. I don't actually think you can avoid her attacks at that point. <laughs> 300 health. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, we're nearly dead. We're, we're nearly dead now. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've still got 20 seconds left? Are you freaking insane? I'm dead. I'm dead. Son it! Ah! Come on. 300 health, ladies and gentlemen. I think there comes a point where it just is better to use the space gun. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh, my, my, my heart is legitimately racing right now, ladies and gentlemen. We just took down Enraged Queen Bee. 
And on that successful note, ladies and gents, we're going to end the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's action-packed episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating, my friends. I mean, come on, I feel like I deserve one for that freaking enraged Queen Bee win. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Guys, I'm so I'm so excited I got that done. I didn't even know there was an enraged Queen Bee status, but uh, we took her down nonetheless in expert, not expert mode, even master mode. <laughs> we did it. Ooh. Oh, man, am I happy. But yeah, guys, hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on the future Terraria content. And yeah, for now, my friends, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.